good, man. She runs good. How's it feel? It feels pretty good. What is up, everybody? Welcome to 2023 and welcome to Orange Wires Garage. We've got an action-packed video planned for you today on this 1969 Ford F100 that we picked up just a few short weeks ago. In the last episode, you saw us put that monstrous disc brake system all up under here. We worked on the power steering gear and we took the power steering column out of this thing because the shaft is worn and the bearings are bad. And we've got to shorten it about two inches to get it to fit this new power steering gear. So what we're gonna to do today, we're gonna to pull the shaft out, we're gonna make a few measurements, we're gonna make a few marks, we're gonna cut two inches out, we're gonna weld it back together, we're gonna to test fit all this stuff, make sure the column works just right, try our best to get the bearing swapped out, get it all situated so that we can be ready for the power steering system. So that's enough talking, let's get to work. bearing is bad it's not completely destroyed but it is bad and we got this new one with this new sleeve so I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get this thing out of there without destroying it I need like a little bearing puller you could put on a slide hammer and that would probably pull it right out I don't have that today so let's see if we can get this little bearing out feels like that it's wanting to be pretty snug, which that's a good thing, but I really don't have what I need to drive it in there. So what I'm gonna do is take it in and put it in the freezer for a few hours, let it get really cold. Then we'll just tap it right back in there. This is the steering shaft that we got to shorten up. I think I'm just gonna take two inches right out of the middle. We'll just put it right in the chop saw so everything will be nice and straight. Then we'll bevel out the edges and make it really, really nice. I got it all marked up for my cut. I put the center line on there so I can just put it back exactly where it comes apart. I mean, this is the point of no return. I measured it three times. I'm gonna take two inches out right there. Too late to turn back now. We got that sucker chopped. We got our edges beveled. We got us a little bit of gap in between. We got a straight edge. We got it all squared up. So we might as well get it welded up. I'm pretty proud of that. I mean, it's perfectly straight. We got it welded all together. Had to do a bit of grinding to get the bearings over it, but it's gonna be right in the middle of the shaft. I think it's really, really good. Would probably be better if we could find one that was already two inches shorter so we wouldn't have to shorten it, but we're going with what we got. Got the bearing out of the freezer. Let's see if we can get this thing knocked back in here. Clean that up really good, put a little grease on it. And then I don't really have anything to knock it in, so I'm gonna use a 27 millimeter socket. That seems to fit the old one the best. So we'll just take that and then we'll just tap it right in there, hopefully. Hopefully it goes in without issues. It's nice and nice cold. I'm trying to get it started straight. Wish we had a little press. We could just press it right in. 
but I think this will be just fine. We just hold it right like that. And then we just tap it, tap it in there with the hammer. That looks right. It looks right, so. Look at how easy that went in. Just super easy, it was cold and just knocked it right in there. You just can't beat that. So we spent just a few minutes stripping all the red paint off this steering column. It's gunmetal gray. It didn't come in this truck because this truck used to be a three on the tree. It had a three speed. It's got a clutch pedal. But they swapped out the column, I guess, when they put in the automatic transmission and they didn't reuse the plugs. They just cut the wires and pigtailed them, but we're gonna fix all that. Cut two inches out of the center shaft and got the new bearing pressed in. So why don't we go ahead and just kind of temporary this thing up and see how it all fits. I hope it fits well. So let's hop to it and let's get it done. change the shaft out it looks like this is not gonna fit or I might just notch this right here and I might be able to redrill some holes I'm not for sure if it'll work a hundred percent but I went ahead and trimmed the top of that off and then I drilled some more holes and then I got everything on here. Looks pretty good to me, but I didn't put the boot back on, didn't put everything back on because I still got to pull this sucker back off. Still got to redo the brake lines. Um, I don't know if I should just buy a new master cylinder and all of that stuff. We've got this power steering pump so why not just go ahead and see if we can't just completely swap it over to serpentine belts. Just temporarying this up to kind of see how it all looks. Just testing out the brake line setup. These are the brackets that come off the 76. These are, these are original brackets for this truck. We've been working pretty hard on these brake lines and these brakes, trying to get everything just hooked up to see if it's gonna work. And I don't know if we need to change the proportioning valve, if we need to change the master cylinder. I don't know what needs to be changed, but I do know that all it's gonna cost us is a little bit of brake fluid to fill this master cylinder up and see if it's gonna work. So why don't we do that? Why don't we fill it up, give it a little while, bleed it out, and see if they work. That's the only way we're gonna know is if we put a little fluid in there, fire it up, and see if they work. So why don't we go ahead and see what we got.
good, man. She runs good. Just like that, another day has come and gone. Today was a whirlwind day. We got a lot of stuff done, just not a whole lot of stuff done to the truck. We did get that steering shaft and that steering column all fixed up. You saw us test out those brakes. They seem to work just like they're supposed to. But if you know the science behind that, if you know that we need to change out the master cylinder and change out that proportion valve, Drop it in the comments and let us know because it seems to work okay, but we will go ahead and change it if we need to change it. We've almost got the power steering ready to go on this truck, but today we had to just take a day and clean up the shop here. Sometimes you just got to bust out the pressure washer and just pressure wash the floor. It's been bothering us for a long time. This thing is really, really dirty, but every time we fire it up, I get super happy and super excited I wish it was ready to hit the road right now. But you know what? I think we're out of time for today's video, guys. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Real Orange Wires. We always post there before YouTube. If you like any part of this video, if you like any part of this content, drop us a like. It really helps us out. Leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you think. We appreciate each and every one of you. We'll catch you next time in the 1969 Ford F100. We're out.